Yeah, everyone. Last week, last month's book, uh, "Woman of No Importance," was uh, it was a history book about World War II, about espionage. Well, this month, uh, this month's book is another quote history book, but it's actually uh, also about a serial killer. And I actually picked up the book because it was a history book about uh, the Chicago World Fair. Um, at the time, it was stuck, you know, and then they introduced this character called A.J. Uh, Holmes, who I knew nothing about, and now there's quite a bit of, out there about H.H. H. Holmes, but what I liked about this book was the idea that um, they used the fair and the architecture and the, as um, kind of as a, another character in the book, besides just H.H. H. Holmes. I mean, they it pretty much introduced him pretty early in the book, and, you know, you're like, that's a killer. They pretty much put it out there that he's a serial murderer. And so, you know, it's like, how, you know, how is, is, can he disappear in, in a place that, you know, in a big city? Because, you know, we would notice things. But with, there were notices, but, you know, it, it also showed that Chicago was a great place to hide at the time. Because, as we, you know, at the time, Chicago was kind of new. It was growing, but it wasn't, you know, established like New York or the bigger cities at the time. And so one of the one of the things that Chicago wanted to do was bring the bring the World Fair here, or the expedition here to just kind of celebrate Chicago and show that they could be established, and add that they aren't you know some small city with nothing to work you know with you know small populations and to get rid of the kind of their bad reputation. Um, the author is really I mean used a lot of good elements in there, and one thing that I, I liked was that this also took place during the Gilded Age. And if you know, if you, if the Gilded Age is kind of, I said, it's kind of that, that fake history that I, that, you know, you have that fake prosperity kind of thing. You have these really rich people and you have great, you know, economic growth, but then you also have this great uh, disparity of, you know, wage workers and simple, you know, laborers and, and heavy dependence on that low, lower income group to make those wages look great. And it's, I mean, it's kind of telling for today because a lot of these issues are still, are kind of happening now again. And it's, I mean, and it's full, I mean, since it's a true story and there's a fair in there, you have a lot of personalities that are around a time, like you got Theodore Roosevelt and you got Wild Bill and you got Annie Oakley and you got so you see all and you got Archduke Fr Franz Ferdinand who is kind of important to you know in a few more years, but it's, it's you know they, they weave these people into the into the narrative of the story because you know they come visit the fair because it ran for so long, and then you have H H Holmes here who is somehow hiding what he, all his evil going on in the fair too you know he's. He sets up a, you know, a hotel, he, you know, meets and, you know, a boarding house. And it's, it's, it's really interesting because, I mean, when they find out who he is and finally capture him, the, you know, the amount of people that he murdered still doesn't know how many people are in there. So it's, I mean, it's very good. It's a very good book and it's very, and the storytelling is great. I mean, with, I read this book and Eric Larson, I mean, he wrote, a lot of other books that I actually I started I read after this one that are great. I mean, Devil Devil in White City was great, but then he read um, or he wrote uh, uh, in the Garden of Beasts about the uh, American ambassador to Germany at the time of you know between World War One World War Two, and that and that story and I mean it's very factual. I mean it's all very well researched and it's a great book with a great story. So I hope you guys all enjoy this month's book and read it. So have a great day and hopefully see you in the future.